the social media companies can't stay on top of this in real time, where someone is saying they're going to commit a violent act and tip law enforcement. If they can't deny somebody the ability to live stream a violent attack, then they shouldn't do it. We here at the network and, and others on television actually have the capability to shut that sort of thing down and not put it on air. And if the social media companies don't have that capability, then maybe they shouldn't have permit live streaming. Mm -hmm. Because in this case, this was a 17-minute long attack. Um, and the notion of those families having to live through this, you know, they, the law enforcement authorities come out and ask people not to forward the link. Yeah. Um, Good luck with that. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, he also expresses in the manifesto, he says that he had, and this is what, is, what he claims, uh, that he had uh, some kind of contact with uh, Anders Breivik. Now, you, of course, remember that. Uh, that was a horrific I shooting think that happened. And, and what I was going to say mm -hmm. is that specific manifesto that Mr. Breivik wrote was also uh, reportedly used by the Coast Guard Lieutenant Christopher Hess yeah. um, as part of what, what he was attempting to do. I wonder, is there a distinction to be made between um, Anders Breivik's manifesto and one like this? This, look, I, the, the Brevik one seemed to be, as offensive as it was, sort of a political philosophy, right? As crazy and as, as bad as it was. This just strikes me as like a line from all of them, right? right. It's, it sort of picks and chooses. It's the kitchen sink of manifestos. It doesn't really have a single original thought in it as far as I'm concerned. And, and so I, I just think this guy strikes me as awful as the attack was as sort of a wannabe in this community uh -huh. and looking to sort of attract people by throwing it <coughs> that's really fascinating, it's really fascinating. Yeah. i wonder then is law enforcement even going to be able to even use this manifesto but i think even in, even in that there is information right. about right. what motivates right. him yeah. right absolutely um maybe it maybe you know it's not sincere what he says he wants as an outcome which is some sort of sort of clash of philosophies it's almost like a race war or whatever maybe that's really not what he wants maybe he just wants people to look at him and acknowledge him and and say his name over and over and we should remind our viewers now that i, I we've been having this entire discussion about that unlike a lot of these other instances uh he is alive and he will be appearing in front of a magistrate and so hopefully we will learn yeah. actually where and how absolutely. he feels about these things yeah, absolutely uh fran always so great to have you i'm so glad you're able could, to come in we yeah keep you longer we could. Could. <laughs> clearly doing an hour show with you um, we appreciate it as always thank you Coming up after the break, we'll have a lot more uh, from New Zealand as that country comes to grips with today's deadly shootings. Stay with us. You're streaming CBSN. on this shit channel. Funding through ignorance, through fear, through a whole bunch of other things, uh, and claiming that, and, re and coming to the, the realization themselves, which I believe is false, that their very culture is under threat and that the government and civil society is not responding properly to the Islamist terrorist attack. Uh, and so we're going to see a lot more of this. We saw in, um, in um, the US recently, or last year, that uh, there was an attack on synagogues, on a synagogue, and we've seen attacks on synagogues in Europe and other places as well. This is the first, or one of the first um, mass attacks that we've seen in a Muslim place of worship, and my fear is that we are going to see more. There's often a military aspect to the messaging as well, Haras Rafiq, isn't there? Um, one of our correspondents earlier describing them as seeing themselves as soldiers for their cause. Absolutely. If you look at the iconography that this particular attack, attacker used, it was very much a um, symbolic of two key things for me. One was the, the Nazi 
uh, symbolism that we saw in terms of the, um, uh, the the black sun and a whole bunch of other things, the, the, the 14 words on his rifle. But he also referred in his manifesto and um, um, online as well to the crusaders, to the fact that he and many of these people see themselves as crusaders fighting the soldiers against a against Muslims around the world, and this is what it happens to be in this instance. So very much there, they see themselves as almost, um, maybe not soldiers of God, but certainly soldiers to a cause, uh, which is white nationalism. Haras Rafiq from Quilliam International, thank you. This is Sky News coming up. We'll have more reaction to that terror attack in Christchurch. <coughs> At least 49 people have died. Hello, I'm Claire Bridge with your showbiz news. A warning, there's some flash photography coming up. It's emerged Luke Perry was planning to marry his fiancée later this year. Save the date cards had been sent out asking friends to keep August the 17th free for an L.A. wedding between the 90210 actor and his partner of 11 and a half years, Wendy Madison Bauer. Luke died last week 